the work that's occurring in my laboratory is really attractive for interdisciplinary research. And the reason is uh, twofold, as I see it. And first is that we have a slightly different perspective on things. And so, for example, whereas uh, someone that's coming at it from the pure science perspective might be trying to understand what is happening. As an engineer, we're trying to say, yes, we want to understand it, but how can we take that understanding and how can we use it? Being in McCormick and at Northwestern more broadly is really essential for actually the work that we do. And in part, I say, is because although you hear about interdisciplinary research at a lot of places, the barriers to interdisciplinary research here really don't exist. Now we have teams of people that are actually thinking about how can we best manage fertility options for patients that were never considered before. And it's this idea that surgeons, reproductive endocrinologists, endocrinologists, oncologists, engineers, biologists are all thinking about a common problem and coming up with solutions and working together. That's a very uncommon thing to see in a regular basis at a hospital. Looking to the long term in terms of interdisciplinary research, Northwestern is really poised to take advantage of the opportunities that are going to emerge. As we learn more and more about research and technologies, it's very difficult for people in one area to know everything. And so really these boundaries between places and need to be small. Whether or not you keep going in engineering or you consider go down other pathways, that the engineering training and thinking about problem solving is useful in so many disciplines, whether you go into consulting, whether you go into politics, whether you go into marketing, you still have a perspective where you're thinking, saying, I want to solve problems. And I think that's the engineering mindset in action. If you consider artists having to create something from scratch, that science and engineering is similarly on the same par in terms of the creativity required. There are a lot of problems out there and a lot of problems that don't have solutions. And coming up with those solutions really requires a creative approach. I can remember back when I was um, finishing up my undergraduate degree in engineering and asking a professor, you know, talking about my future and where I wanted to go, and I made this comment that I would really like to do something that I feel like has an impact. And his response to me was, all engineers have an impact. It's really a matter of how you want to have that impact. The excitement about moving forward is about what you can do with this technology down the road. And so on a day-by-day -day basis, this is really the excitement that keeps you going to really say we have the potential to change uh, individuals' lives or change the lives of potentially millions of people that are uh, addressing issues with infertility or people that are facing type 1 or type 2 diabetes.